Hey everyone, Ted here, uh, otherwise known as TMAC on the board, and I thought I'd do a quick screencast that kind of shows how the new forum works. I'm using this both on an iPad and my MacBook Pro, and on uh, some of it I'll see if I can interject what it looks like on Windows too, but it should all relatively be the same. The nice thing that they did here is they kind of kept this uh, looking similar. The only difference is, is now we've got the menus across the top here. The very first thing you want to do uh, coming in here is go to the very end menu item and select manage. You're going to go the first uh, menu item, your personal settings. Once you get into your personal settings, um, you're going to have several options. And in these options, you can keep your online status private. So if you check this, no one will know if you're online or not. Um, you can not display your birthday. Um, the only thing they would display is your month and your uh, birthday, but not the year. And um, you could also check to prevent new dialogues from being sent to you if that's an issue. Stripping location data from all your photos. I'm going to leave that checked. Um, if you're taking pictures off an iPhone or a Droid or, or a Blackberry, um, a lot of times those those cameras now are interjecting uh, the GPS location data of those pictures and I'm not sure if I want that uh, metadata embedded in my photos uh, to go up onto the forum so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Um, then the last thing is is my signature was pulled over from the old forum so you could get in here and change this and you have all the basic word processing tools to format your signature any way you want. If you want to use hyperlinks or not, you want to put a, a picture or a video in there, um, you can do that as well. Okay, so once you get into your update profile section, um, your email address is going to show. I changed this email to a fake email because I'm using a private one here. I didn't want people to see. Um, and um, you just click on this little tab to change your email. I'll change it back before um, I exit out of here. You can also change your password, the same thing, by clicking here. Your display name that you've been using will, will show up here. Your gender, uh, your birth date. Remember, the year doesn't show um, to anyone else. And then you put your postal zip code and put your displayed location. If you want to put down to the city where you live, that's your choice, or general location in your country. I think the bigger issue um, with your profile is that the old avatar photos that are coming over from the old forum are about one half to a third this size. So they're very small. Um, you can put in a much larger photo uh, that will get shrunk down to about this size and uh, if you edit and crop then you can uh, have your mugshot fill up the whole screen like this. Um, then your other profile information you can put what you want to show up here uh, your mailing address this is my work address it's all over the internet already so I'm not worried if other people see it. Um, I'm not gonna put my phone numbers in here that's not a big deal uh, at this point, I don't know if anyone really needs to call me from the forum without emailing me first. And then if you want to put your display email, um, I haven't figured out if this shows outside of the members. Um, and the only reason why I worry about that is if it does show to the general public without being a member issue, you know, someone being logged in, um, that's where you can pick up the spam bots uh, pulling your email. To, so until I understand how that works, I'm not going to put a display email. And then you can put your uh, website, if you have a website, uh, down here. So if you want to send people to a website that's related to you. The, uh, there's a section where you can put your interests and a biography. And it's got all the typical word processing uh, uh, formatting capabilities that you can use for either of these. And then below, um, you can put in your occupation your mailing address, fax numbers, things like that. And once you click the update profile, bingo, you're updated, ready to go. But going back, remember, try to get this picture upgraded because one of the big things about social, uh, these social platforms is that uh, all the studies done across the internet is any um, content that has photos uh, gets a lot more activity, gets viewed a lot more, 
we're a, we're a self-help group in the sense that we're always posting up uh, questions or information to help others with their train layouts and um, or tips on how to repair things. So if you're going to ask a question to get a repair item done or how to fix something or learn how to do something, you're going to have a higher click-through rate on your posts if you have a picture um, in your profile or your avatar set. So that is your um, profile. So the next thing you want to do is go to your notifications and you're going to come in here and have a lot of options on you could suspend all your email notifications so you don't get any. Um, you could uh, leave that open and then customize what you want. So if someone puts a new clip on the site it would send you an email if you check that box. If a new calendar event's put on the site you could check that box and you'll get an email as soon as that happens. If um, content you're watching um, has activity you'll get an email if you check that box. Um, if a new dialog posts you're going to get an instant email, uh, email if you check that box. Um, update events that I've indicated I'm attending. You could get an alert when you're on the forum plus um, an email. You could up, upcoming chat events you could get an alert while you're on that people wanted to do um, a chat group. Or if someone wanted to tag one of your photos add tags to it um, which is another topic we can discuss later um, you could check that box. These three items at the end are things that don't bother me but I was getting way too much email like a lot of you earlier on so I unchecked these boxes and got control of uh, the flood of email coming in. Also you down at the bottom you could be notified about any new content across all forums but again every time a new post gets put up um, or a new topic in each sub forum you'd get an email which for a board this busy is going to be quite a bit of email. Then the last part is your alerts and uh, because I don't have any alerts set at this point um, they're not going to show up on this page. So this is the manage, manage function. We've been through all four of these items and you should be ready to go and handle that. And then what I think I'm going to do is create a couple more videos so that keep these short on uh, navigating through the forums and uh, posting video and pictures. Thanks for watching.